Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. Um, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. You guys can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or the second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have some great conversations which you guys don't want to miss. We've got a Patreon. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. Big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, just everything in general that you guys are doing is very much appreciated. I really hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to Bible or Quran experiment. Surprising reaction. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Hey, my name is Vincent Valentine. I'm here in downtown Toronto. I'm asking some people on the street what they think about different passages I read to them from the Quran. Unknown to them though, it's actually the Bible. A few days ago there was a video recorded in Europe that basically it did the exact same thing. So I just wanted to do the same video but in North America to see what our perspective would be on this and if we still think that some of these old biblical texts have any place in Western society today. Punish you for your sins seven times over. You will eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters. If two men are fighting and the wife of one of them comes to rescue her husband from his assailant, you shall cut off her hand. Look, here is my virgin daughter. I'll bring them out to you now and you can use them and do to them whatever you wish. But as for this man, do no such outrageous thing. A woman should learn in quietness and full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. If someone has a stubborn and rebellious son who does not obey his father and mother, then all the men of his town are to stone him to death. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after hearing those? Well, obviously they sound very aggressive. Yeah, obviously they're very graphic. My initial thoughts, honestly, I feel a little bit numb, I guess. Like, those are pretty harsh. There's no denying that. Yeah. Woman saying you can have my daughter versus the you husband. You can't have the man. You Mode of thinking of women um, that you know, they are essentially objects. Obviously, you should take issue with things that are so hostile and so violent. Stoning human beings is not how we want to live in our society, but it does remind me of the Old Testament. A lot of the Bible passages are similar. I don't know about the cutting off at the, the hands of the woman's hands who's trying to help, but I know that there's similar passages. Yeah, it sounds familiar to the Bible. Well, to be honest, I do hear things in the Bible that sound a little bit scary sometimes too. Even in the Bible, you know, Jesus outlines how to buy and sell slaves. I'm sure the same could be said about elements of the Bible yeah. in context or without and it probably seemed pretty harsh. That's true, yeah. I think it's it's a little bit more different, like in terms of the cutting hands thing. Uh, you know, they don't talk th about that at the sermons that much, you know? It's like, the Bible kind of tries to put us on equal levels and have our own certain roles. I think that they're kind of similar. I mean, yeah. in the Bible, it's less vulgar. Do you feel like there's still a place in Western society for these old texts? Do you think that maybe we should move on from them? That's a deep question. There's something to learn from, but we shouldn't be using them as like law or, or even guidelines, like cutting people's hands off or dragging my son down. I can't even use that as a guideline. Especially these days, no. Uh, all it does is pretty much divide people unnecessarily. And I have nothing against people believing what they want in their own homes. I think that everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Religion definitely has a place in society. It's not, no one has the authority to say that a religion's time has passed and we should all adapt to a more scientific way of thinking. Even myself, I'm an agnostic. I believe people should practice what they believe. There can be a place for religious texts, but I don't think that people should take things so literally. It would be nice to kind of adapt like these kind of like these kind of more ancient ideas. Things have changed radically in terms of like history and culture and things like that. I do have a little surprise for you. All these heartwarming passages that I read to you today, um, they're actually in the Bible. Are actually the Bible, people? Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I, I don't know, yeah, that, I, I didn't know that it was from the Bible, but I know there's similar things. The Bible's not far from the yeah. good book. They're actually from the Bible. Wow, I'm not surprised. Yeah. 
not surprised at all, actually. No. That there are good and bad parts of all things, as religion especially. But at the same time, this is painted differently. Let's just ignore these passages and follow yeah. the good one. The media is, uh, that's their business, to scare the pants off people. Yeah. Fear sells, right? Media is a big proponent of religious intolerance in today, and obviously it's a problem. See it on uh, all the major news stations. It's quite horrific, actually, yeah. that they're, they're vilifying an entire religion. And yeah. then when you look at the media, you're saying, okay, so here in Canada, like a Muslim doing a shooting and he's labeled as a terrorist, right? But if a white man does a shooting, then he's a troubled teenager with mental issues. Being critical of a certain piece of material doesn't mean you need to be so critical of a group of people. And this just goes to show how absurd it is. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like it and even share this video on Facebook so more people can see it. And if you really like the video and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos like this, a lot more street interview videos. Thanks for watching and, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Very interesting video and fun experiment to watch. I was wondering how people would say it and I like how none, how none of them made an excuse for the Bible. That speaks volumes. They are aware that... The Bible may say such things even before they knew it was actually coming from the Bible. And um, people are there talking about, um, they really made some good points. I, I really don't even know what to talk about. Some of these things should not be taken in the literal sense. It really shouldn't. And I think it's all to the people that actually share the word to try and explain certain things. Because I don't think... Uh, in this time and age, you want to chop off someone's hands. I don't think in this time and age, you want to stone someone. Imagine stoning someone to death. Or, I don't think it was saying that, but I'm just saying, imagine someone stoning someone to death. It's just, it's crazy. It's very, very crazy. And there are some good points about the media as well. The media is creating this silly image about people that doesn't make sense. Why are you making the rest of the world look bad and your so-called first world countries look so good? You people need help. Not you people, but whoever does that needs help. Otherwise, this experiment was fun, but fresh, and something that people should do more of this. And is, did this guy only do the experiment of the Bible, the Quran once with just Christians or people that believe in the Bible or people that are aware of the Bible? Or did he also maybe read the quran to other people as well i'd like to know if there's a video out there feel free to give me the link and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video